The Black Hills are some of the most iconic landscapes in South Dakota. They are located in the western part of the state, spilling over into Wyoming. The name Black Hills is actually very ironic. These are not hills. This is an isolated mountain range. Black Elk Peak is the highest mountain in the Black Hills, located at an elevation of 7,244 feet above sea level. This is the highest mountain in South Dakota, and this is the highest mountain east of the Rocky Mountains. The Black Hills get their name from the dark hue that they have because of the evergreen trees that grow in this area. Such trees include ponderosa pine, Black Hills spruce, Rocky Mountain juniper, and this was actually a major timber harvesting region. This was also a major gold mining region. Gold is what attracted many people to go to the Black Hills. This is why historic Deadwood exists. Mining and timber have declined, but tourism has gone up. The rugged landscapes of the Black Hills have attracted many people, the forests, the landscapes. It's a driving factor to get many people to go visit. There are many places within the Black Hills that attract so many tourists. Mount Rushmore is there, Spearfish Canyon, Crazy Horse Memorial, the Mammoth Site, and historic Deadwood. Oh, the Sturgis Bike Rally is there too. There are also other things to consider about the Black Hills, such as how they were formed. Volcanic activity, uplift, certain orogenic processes that helped to form the Black Hills. The core, the granite core of the Black Hills, which is located in Black Elk Peak, that was formed by magma during the Trans-Hudson Orogeny. And the tertiary Orogeny helped contribute to the uplift, which helped form the Black Hills. There are animals that you can find within the Black Hills, such as deer, buffalo, pronghorn, bighorn sheep, mountain lions. The Black Hills are such a fascinating geographic feature with so much there. There is a reason why so many people want to visit the Black Hills. It's important to look at the physical geography, the biogeography of the Black Hills, why certain trees like ponderosa pines, Black Hills spruce, Rocky Mountain juniper grow there. It's important to consider the human geography aspect. People were drawn there for the gold and the timber that was there, and now people visit those areas, the tourism geography aspect of it. If you like this video, go check out other videos on this channel, and as always, be sure to leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get more notifications on when videos get uploaded, and keep learning as much as you can about geography.